We have shown you Percy Phillips is facing murder and robbery charges from a 1993 case. Phillips is accused of killing cashier Brenda Whitfield. The case is being prosecuted again years after Edwin Chandler was wrongfully convicted for the crime and then exonerated in 2009, following nearly a decade in prison. New evidence freed Chandler and linked Phillips fingerprints to that case. It's an important case that has drawn headlines for decades here. Isaiah Kim Martinez has been following the story now as it moves again to the Louisville courtroom. He is in our newsroom showing us a mother's plea for her son's innocence. Isaiah? Well, Doug, Abigail Taylor was actually very to the point here. No tears, no long responses. She gave simple answers on whether she believes her son's description from years ago matches anything shown on security video. A Louisville mother walks into court Monday, just feet away from her son on trial. Percy Allen Phillips. The man charged for the murder and robbery of a gas station clerk nearly 30 years ago. Now Percy Phillips' mother, Abigail Taylor, testifying in front of a jury. Is that about how you remember Percy Phillips looking? Yes. Defense attorneys wasted no time asking Taylor what her son looked like back then and having her compare with images captured on surveillance video years ago. Now Maybe a thin bill, but not. Not real thin. Was Percy ever that thin? No. Attorney Julie Mudd for the Public Defender's Office also focused on skin tone on their previous claims that Phillips is lighter skin than sketches from the 90s showed. Taylor talked about her son being left handed and being neither skinny or heavy set back then, rather somewhere in the middle. Taylor also recalling an accident she says her son suffered in May of 93 before the incident. They had his leg up in traction where she says he was left with a noticeable limp sometime after mud also showing Taylor a snapshot of the surveillance video. Do you recognize the man in this photo? No. Taylor kept her answers mostly brief, mainly yes or no answers. The prosecution only asking her a couple questions. It was rehab for about five or six weeks and kind of limped around. Yes. The defense also brought up Ralph Brown, a man who talked to police that night, but he couldn't recall many details. Meanwhile, psychiatrist Dr. Siddiqui says Phillips was a patient in 2004. I had a copy and I had a chance to read it. Siddiqui confirmed Phillips is left-handed based on old records, but the defense left it there, choosing not to pursue any further questions with the doctor. And defense attorneys say they have another witness to call up tomorrow and prosecutors have one to revisit as well who couldn't make it last week. Now trial resumes tomorrow afternoon with a verdict still expected sometime this week. Live in the newsroom tonight, Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 11 on your side.